I, I would believe that, considering it was shattered into pieces. All right. Next up on the chopping block. Next up on the chopping block in Hell's Kitchen. We got a workshop fight. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw the delay base symbol come up during the match. We got Tabski versus Flushy Panic. There we Two go. Sorry, I, I had received an important message. Sorry. Two Your workshop joke was funny, just by the way. I mean, I need you to know that for me. Don't worry, I got funny. you. Real recognizes real. <laughs> Anyways, um, th okay. it's good. I was gonna say, both incredibly talented players at the workshop characters that they choose to represent. Yeah, except for Tabski fucking up right as I try to give him credit. I feel like he's just listening in every time I commentate when he plays. So that way I just fucking say something and he does the exact opposite and I look like a fool. Who might know nothing and have the role of a clown. I, I mean, it's understandable. It, it's, I feel like it, it would be, there would be more unreasonable things than to, to mess with you like that. Right. Watch you panic though has still kept up their incredible execution with the Hodan strings. It, yeah. it just baffles me doing all these inputs on a controller. I feel like I'm, at some point my hands would like just give out, you know? They're they're just that good. I mean, they they've got the robot hands for sure. Plus, I, I, panic the human task would not surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me either. It's <laughs> someone that's played them in person. Uh, the I, I think it's also really interesting. I feel like I haven't seen any like workshop v workshop matches at like a higher level like the, these are two people that are relatively known for their characters right right um and so it's it's kind of the first time we're seeing that right like um i can't think of any other high profile workshop v workshop matches i've seen not a very common occurrence quite yet yeah I'm just not, still like a little too new I feel like the characters just came out and most of the people who played this game at a high level just already had their, like, their niche, you know? And the people- Ooh, Oh my shit. god. Fair train all aboard. Choo -choo. Like, the people who already had their characters set in stone before they came out didn't have a reason to change. And the only people who did really have, like, a reason to change probably fucked around for the characters for a little bit. Realized either, oh, this character is dog shit, or oh, this character is broken, I don't want to do this. And then just went back to a character that was in the original Definitive Edition. Yeah, I think the highest profile changes have been Sega Olympia and uh, uh, Giga to Hodan. And also, uh, clearly, clearly Plushy to Hodan, because I believe they played Crag before. Did Tabsky not? No, I'm thinking of Tapscott. That's who I'm thinking of. You are thinking of Tapscott. I have horrible, I have horrible memory. Yeah, if Tabsky played before Pum, I unfortunately had not heard of them before. Likewise. The name had sounded familiar, because then they started stealing my rank elo. I love you, buddy, but please give me back my elo. My Rano is 203. I didn't do anything to deserve this. He needs no it to pay me. Vince. Clearly. Vince does have a very demanding payroll. Oh, fuck. Tapsky tips well. Oh my god, that was wild. That was the double down B into the up B. That's like, you expect it after the first one, right? But like right. getting hit by two just totally throws you off. Seeing uh, Plushy's combo game has me wondering if we could get tassing tools for rivals to see what tass only combos would look like. I feel like, I mean, sometimes it feels like it wouldn't be too far from the truth. You know, like, it's always there interesting because when you see tasks for, like, platformers and shit, it's like, oh, this is cool. And I think there's been, like, a few task combo videos for some of the older Smash games, like 64 and Melee. And I think for all now, too, because, like, Wii tasking tools are available. But for stuff that comes out on PC or, like, more recent shit, like PS3, I've not seen too many tasks for it. So I'm always curious, like, what can we do in these games that is humanly impossible but task possible? That's a good question. Because, you know, especially Hodan. Shoutouts to Giga for always finding Hodan shit that's like three frame or less windows, and immediately people will think, oh, he's going to use this somehow to win a major. Nah, it just means he's a masher, that's all. Dude, that's so fucking true. But, like, Hodan apparently has so much cornball shit that's like three frames. Oh my god. Monkey ass will be taking the stock. Yeah, so um. So much, like three frame or less bullshit and people will immediately go oh hold on's broken 
This character's oh, busted as shit. We are through. As we've seen so far, the set, uh, Plushie don't need none of that. But, yeah, they have been just that. cleaning house, just, just... Plushy like, they, they've had some that. wacky confirms, but, uh... They, nothing! They've been... Nothing that tight. Nothing truly wacky to wacky. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're playing a real solid game. They're finding their kills. Are you kills. kidding me? Please tell okay. me you saw that. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Dan, please, please patch your game. I know you just did, but do it again. If I, if I get, like, someone else to help with this time, because I know, I know right now it's just Gick in the office slaving away at a computer and putting in the patch notes. They're, they're all working on the Rivals cart, clearly. True, dude. Rivals cart with a Garfield crossover? Aether Studios would become a mainstay. We would finally get proper funding for Rivals 2. We would finally be relegated to a main event at Majors. Relegated to a main event? <laughs> yeah. He upgraded from side events to main events so people could watch the- People could watch the Master Garfield matchup! Man. I don't want to talk about Raster Garfield. This is terrible. <laughs> It's a horrible matchup. It's so volatile. It's probably the only 7-3 matchup Aether Studios has ever designed. Speaking of volatile matchups, there's Honan vs. Palm. That's cool, too. Yeah, Tavsky is bringing it back compared to last game. Substantially less SDs compared to the first one. I, I think... Ah. Oh, oh, that was a good catch after the note kind of messed it up. Um, I, I think what we've seen Tavsky have such a hard time with this whole set has definitely been, like, it, I, I mentioned earlier, Honan is a character you can't really exist above. Um, because that's where he's gonna find all his nonsense like that. Yeah, all his buffoonery. All his buffoonery! Yeah. It's true. Um, and so, with with all this buffoonery going on, uh, Palm is an air character. She wants to be in the air. <laughs> uh, you see the, the problem now. I see the conundrum and, like, Tabski could go lower to the, uh, could go lower to the ground with some of the air stuff, but he has, like you've been said, just going high in the sky, free birding. Yeah, and, like, I, I get it, because, like, Palm is a float character, and a lot of her best, like, options in neutral typically are, like, with float and stuff. Uh, you just, you just have to be so, you just have to be so careful with it. Right. Nope. Sorry. Is that fucking Donkey Kong?! Better than mine, mine's fucking Plants vs. Zombies music when someone calls me. Now that I'm on my own, uh, I'm gonna have to try and carry for dinos. Oh shit! It's great to send okay. you from Lushy. Alright, I'm back, I'm not alone anymore. The void has Um, you actually, you are alone for a minute. I'm sorry, I have to go take care of this. Alright, well, shit. I'll just uh, hang out. <laughs> thank you, Violet. Last stock here. Pretty close for Tapski. This is his winner side stock. Well, she does not have quite a lead to secure out of super patient, but just a few strings. Uh, a few strings will probably take it. Tapski's not careful. Yeah, that definitely seems a little bit dicey. I mean, granted, you know, plus she has the game lead here. For Kib, this is just kind of the first step. I I'm sorry, did you say Kib? Oh my god, I'm sorry, Tabski. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like in <laughs> 10 different dimensions right now. I'm not QPU aligned, as you were saying earlier. I'm gonna, I am not QPU aligned. <laughs> I'm not QPU aligned. Tabski, I don't think you're a great value, Kib. I think you're great, buddy. Keep doing what you're doing. Just like taking the stuff, just like taking the game. I'm proud of you. Everyone will think you're Kib, but I know better. I'm right. proud of you. Tapski, here's no, here. Actually, I have a reason to appreciate Tapski here for not banning Tempest. More of a reason to to love Plushie for actually picking Tempest. That's badass. I love Tempest Peak. Tempest Peak is so cool. Um, but yeah, this is definitely an interesting situation for Plushie to be in here. It's two, two games, potentially two different stages to work with. They get into top eight. And, and, and any any type of stage for Plush, you hear it kind of loud, but they're a typical baboonery to occur. Yeah. That which could lead into several early stocks taken away from Tabski. Like that! Oh boy. Yeah, that's a tough start there. You know, Palm is pretty good at just kind of chipping away at the opponent when she needs to. Oh my. 
I was about to say, please tell me you check it. Please tell me you watched the knowledge check video, Tapsky. That shit had 7,000 views. Please tell me you were one yeah. of them. That was, that was a situation, all right. Oh, yeah. good confirmed, though. Dealing with that side platform looks like it's going to be tough for Tapsky to deal with. But if he can handle it, it should be easy street. No, oh my god. Ooh. I thought this would be easy street. It's looking more like cheesy street right now for Tavsky though. Yeah, the real question is, is, is Tavsky cheese to meet the monkey right now? I, I think Tavsky would be cheese to meet me. I think Tavsky would be cheese to meet me. It wasn't Riptide, I think it would again. Not getting these kills off the top, Hodon is just too fucking thick. Hanging on to his stock right now. Just going all the way to that corner. Uh, I, I saw what Plushy was trying to do there. That was disgusting. And if they would have pulled it off, I think my uh, Scarlet I2I USB audio interface would have broke. Right. Ooh. The hitbox is actually working out in Plushy's favor. A lot of the time you kind of see it benefiting Palm. Or at least I feel like I see it benefiting Palm. But you can see it's definitely a two-way street. Tried to, tried to keep it going. Tried to keep the monkey spin going. Yeah. Off the side? Holy shit, that was a sh sharp angle. Just has to keep the edge guard going here. Okay, okay, okay! Show me! Show me the sauce! Alright, what do we got? Plushy kind of stuck on this right platform. Vince and the notes are both just putting on this kind of pressure that's hard for to put on, you know, being a relatively like less mobile character compared to a lot of the cast. But what he makes up for in leg game is that he makes up for in leg games and the fact that he's fucking thick and not taking any early stocks here. Yeah. As Dabsky keeps chipping away at him. Be having the time of their life just hanging on right now with those big Tempest Blastons. But okay, pop off the up top, there. finally. Dabsky's not out of it yet, especially with notes in Harmony Field. St hey! Hey! Has to be careful about getting sent off the side early by that charge fair. Yeah. It is not a rival's move. That shit is too big and it hurts too much. That shit is a Hotoko no Ken move. That shit's from that one goofy ass Arxis game with the Fist of the North Star. That shit is goofy! Alright, Matatsuki does have the lead here. Oh. Never. Oh, so no, I'm still does. Strange maneuvering right there with the FB. Let's see what we got. The stream is making me motion sick. I'm trying my best. Oh. Okay, on the side! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, game five it is. We, we are had... on game oh. five. We haven't had too many sets just go down the wire like this, but this one apparently going to be the one to do it. I don't know, funny matchup. So, game five, Monkey Town. Monkey mo monkey I, I would I would take a bath in monkey town. I like if you've ever taken like a hot tub dip in the mountains in the middle of winter, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've taken a hot tub uh, I've gone on a hot tub in the middle of winter in New Jersey suburbs, if that counts as the mountains. I'd count that as more of the valleys of hell, but <laughs> I mean, you get you get the idea, it's the warmth amidst the cold. Alright. Just the note right there. We got here. We saw here. earlier with Menace, Tavsky did really well in the smaller stage given to him by uh, Chutop. But Plushy's a little bit of a different beast. In the grounds that, you know, Hodon has a lot of more massive moves than Zetter Burn because of that steam charge coming to his aid. Mm -hmm. Waiting for their chance to strike. Has Tapsky off stage? Will they be able to actually capitalize off the off stage situation though? Okay, does it get the tag? Off we go, off the side, up B once, up B again. There, there we go. Yeah. Ooh, weird Nader right there. Not gonna be able to actually connect the hits. Yeah, this is plushy off stage. Really low on resources, but it doesn't matter when you have to be really careful about how you challenge it on. 
Right, from what I've been seeing from Tabski, Hodan seems like a bitch and a half to edge guard his palm. His spirits can break vents, his up B can break vents, his spirits can stop your notes, his up B can break your notes, his down B can just, like, bury you if he somehow manages to land that Hell Mary. It seems like there's just so much that he can do that just shuts down your neutral game effectively at edge. Wow, your edge guarding game. I said very, neutral at ledge. At the very least, Plushy's doing a really good job of, of making it seem like a hard time. Oh. oh no, that, oh, oh, that was <laughs> that, that, that was some pre-base cash nano Nuray. That was some old school Hodon type shit. Ah uh, yeah, they were looking for something funny. Oh boy, and they really haven't stopped looking for funny things either. Sour of the here, Tavski stuck off stage. Finally finds his answer. Going high, trying to meet- Oh, oh my god! Alright, meet him in the middle, why not? Fuck it, sure! Whatever you were saying about chicanery, it's still true. <laughs> this is shenanigan after shenanigan right now. It's baboonery! Baboonery, yeah. It's the red-faced baboonery! They're, they're both fighting for their life right here. Remember, winner of this is guaranteed 5th place. Loser only guaranteed ninth. So the stakes are there. The stakes are high, and I uh, can't get them off the ceiling. Is that not gonna be quite enough? Okay, finds the hit. Hold on, still too thick. Still had one too many sesame chickens. Ooh. The stalling from Plushy! Oh my god, they're so oh smart. They know oh everything god. about how to use those tools from Hodon. Oh no, tried to escape. The monkey train stops for no station. It Next, oh fuck, oh. off the side. All right, it's anyone's game now. Both of these players fighting for their winner's life. Uh, they the are. Tavsky definitely the one that needs to make a lot of a run back here. The parry, the fourth join, there's the church. They're gonna kill, will put Tavsky off stage, but they're just not able to capitalize off the situation. Not enough. Kavsky needs to get a streak started, but he's getting cold feet! Oh, oh. oh no! The humanity! Or I guess the baboonery still. The baboonery! Oh, no. Hold on, just go in. The one time Tavsky needed to clutch it out, he got cold feet. Wow, that... couldn't secure it. Yeah, no, that set, that, at least that game, if not the entire set, was just what one would call a situation. A, a random a monkey moment. A little bit of a monkey moment, in fact. Dinos oh. still having a dinos moment disappearing into the ether, never to be.